Hi guys, good day. Uh, this is Engineer Rodolfo at ito yung part 2 ng video natin para sa mga provisions ng NCP 2015 for the concrete crack and non-crack. So, dao naman tayo dun sa modulus of elasticity ng concrete at ng steel. So, para sa modulus of elasticity, we have NCP section 419.2.2 So, it states that uh, modulus of elasticity E sub C for concrete shall be permitted to be calculated as A or B. So, for A, the values of WC between 1440 and 2560 kg per cubic meter. Ang equation daw natin doon is E sub C is equal to W sub C raised to 1.5 times 0.043 square root ng F prime C. So, the unit of the modulus of elasticity is in megapascals. Then, for normal weight concrete, E sub C is equal to 4,700 square root of F prime C. So, that is in megapascal. So, ibig sabihin, lang na itong code na to, ito yung gagamitin natin. So, this is for the lightweight concrete. At kapag sinabi naman sa problem na yung concrete natin is yung normal weight, ito naman yung gagamitin natin. <coughs> so, that will be the interpretation of this code from NSCP section 419.2.2. Now, dun tayo sa NSCP section 420.2.2 entitled as the design properties. So, sabi dyan, so, ito yung design properties. Sabi dyan, <coughs> the modulus of elasticity ES for non pre stress bars and wires shall be permitted to be taken as 200,000 megapascal. So, yung ibig sabihin ng non pre stress Yaan yung steel reinforcement natin na ginagamit sa reinforced concrete. So, kapag daw naka-encounter ka ng non pre stress bars <coughs> or wires, uh, ang gagamitin daw natin na modulus of elasticity doon or E sub S is the 200,000 megapascal automatic and it is well known as the 200 gigapascal. <coughs> so kahit sa steel design, ito yung ginagamit natin na modulus of elasticity ng steel. So that will be for NSCP section 420.2.2. So ngayon, kaya natin kinuha yung modulus of elasticity ni concrete and yung modulus of elasticity, uh, elasticity ni steel kasi kakailanganin natin siya for uh, the next provision which is the modular uh, which is for the modular ratio natin. So, ano yung modular ratio? So, ito yung ratio ng uh, A certain material to another material. So, in our case, this is the ratio of the steel to the concrete. So, kasi kapag nasa face tayo ng concrete crack and non-crack, kailangan natin mamili ng isang material na i-convert dun sa another material. So, in our case, we need to convert the steel into an equivalent concrete. So, dito, gagamitin natin yung modular ratio. So, for the modular ratio, uh, meron tayo dito ang NCP 2015 section 429.6 which is the uh, which is for flexure. Uh, it, index, uh, it indicates section 429.6.4. So, kung hawak nyo first printing of the NCP, <coughs> itong provision na na, na Uh, itong provision under section 429 is nandun pa. 
Pero pagdating natin sa second printing, uh, the section 429 is tinanggal na. So, this is available only on section 429 of NSCP 2015 first printing. So, under NSCP section 429.6, Entitled Flexure and Section 429.6.4 So, sabi doon, it shall be permitted to take the modular ratio N is equal to ES over EC as the nearest whole number but not less than 6 except in calculations for deflections value of N for lightweight concrete shall be assumed to be the same as the normal weight concrete on the same strength. So, <coughs> Ibig sabihin lang nun, uh, first, sabi, the equation of the modular ratio is N. Makapalitan natin yung kulay. So, sabi lang dun, the equation of the modular ratio N is equal to ES over the EC. <coughs> so, ibig sabihin, ni, uh, ni ratio natin yung uh, modulus of elasticity, uh, elasticity ni steel kay concrete. So, para makonvert natin yung steel into an equivalent concrete. <coughs> then, sabi dito, as the nearest whole number. So, ayan. Sabi dyan, as the nearest whole number. So, ibig sabihin, <coughs> kung meron akong or kung binigyan na ako nitong equation na to ng N, which is equal to, uh, let's say, 8.4. So, kung binigyan niya ako ng ganyan na equation, sabi, nearest whole number. So, ang susundin natin rule dito is the rule of rounding of numbers. So, ibig sabihin, ang N natin will be equivalent to 8. Kasi ang katabi niya is, 4. Ang rule ng uh, rounding of numbers, pag 1 to 4, that is retained. Pag 5 to 9, that is round up. So, <coughs> ibig sabihin sa case na to, ang modular ratio natin is 8. So, nakalagay din dyan, uh, except in calculations for deflection value of N. So, pag ang kinakalculate natin is for deflections, ah, uh, Irregardless kung lightweight or normal weight concrete, sabi niya, to be assumed, uh, shall be assumed this, to be the same as for normal weight concrete. So, ibig sabihin, kung ano yung modular ratio natin for normal weight concrete na same strength, let's say, ang F' si mo 28 megapascal, pero lightweight siya, i-assume natin na same siya for the normal weight concrete. So, ibig sabihin, Ang gagamitin mong EC is yung 4,700 square root ng F prime C. Kasi nga, to be assumed the same as for normal weight of the same strength. <coughs> so, yun yung condition kapag ginagamit natin yung modular ratio kapag magkakalculate tayo ng deflection. Remember, si concrete crack and uncrack is part of <coughs> checking serviceability requirements ni reinforced concrete natin. So, ito rin yung ginagamit to check for deflections. <coughs> so, next, uh, NCP section, uh, NCP 2015 section 429.6. So, sa 429.6.5, sinabi naman dito, in double reinforced flexural members, an effective modular ratio of 2 ES over EC shall be used to uh, transform compression reinforcement for stress computations. Compressive stress in such reinforcement shall not exceed permissible tensile stresses. So, sabi dun, uh, <coughs> kasi may tendency na double reinforced tayo. May tendency din na single reinforced tayo. Uh, so, sab masasabi natin na ang reinforced concrete is single reinforced kapag meron tayong bakal only on the tension side. So, let's say, itong beam na to is magre-resist ng positive moment. So, pag positive yung moment na i-resist niya, ibig sabihin, 
compression at the top, tension at the bottom. So, ang bakal natin nasa ilalim. So, pag ang bakal mo nasa ilalim, so, ibig sabihin, yung mga bakal na yun is for tension. So, kapag ganun yung nangyari, kailangan natin i-convert yung bakal into an equivalent concrete. So, let's say bakal lang yan on the tension side. So, burahin natin yung concrete part. So, kung bakal lang yan, pag i-convert mo daw yan into an equivalent concrete, kailangan ng equation mo is yung modular ratio ang kukunin mo, which is N. So, pag kinonvert natin to in an, into an equivalent concrete, i-multiply natin si N dun sa original area ng steel. So, ibig sabihin, yung AS na yun, yan yung pi over 4 times diameter squared or yung area ng circle, which is yung area ng bars na tatlo. Pero since tatlo yan, so that is, uh, so let's say that is AS is equal to 3 times pi over 4 times d squared. Kasi tatlo tong bakal. So, ngayon, pag i-convert na natin siya, ito ang equivalent concrete, ito is ita times natin dun sa nakuha nating value ng N. So, yun ngayon yung equivalent concrete section niya. Now, paano naman daw sa doubly reinforced na concrete? So, let's say, uh, meron tayo ulit Re, uh, reinforced concrete so ito yung compression side ito yung tension side let's say positive ulit yung moment so compression yung top tension yung bottom so ibig sabihin yung nasa taas that are compression bars tapos yung nasa baba tension bars so kung ganyan yung uh, scenario Let's say, tanggalin muna natin yung concrete ulit at ilagay natin yung bakal lang. So, yung nasa taas na bakal, yan yung compression. So, kailangan mo siya ng equivalent concrete. Ito naman yung tension. So, syempre, sabi ko nga, pag i-convert mo yung tension, that is NAS. So, ngayon, yung compression naman, that will be 2N A prime S. Bakit na siya A prime S? Kasi that A prime S stands for the area of the con uh, compression bar. So, same equation sila, A prime S is equal to, syempre, dalawa lang yung bakal, so that is 2 times pi over 4 times D squared, kung ano man yung diameter ng bakal mo. Then, mayroon lang tayong 2N A prime S doon para masunod lang natin yung probation na pag nagko-convert tayo ng compression bar, that should be 2ES. So, dito, rebars pa lang yung kinonvert, so hindi niya pakasama yung concrete na part. So, pinaliwanag ko lang kung paano yung uh, conversion from uh, the steel to an equivalent concrete. So, wala pa dito yung mismong concrete rectangular. So, the provisions for that one will be explained on the next part of, uh, on the next part of this discussion. So, that will be all for the modulus of elasticity and the modular ratio for the concrete crack and untap. Again, this is Engineer Rodolfo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV.